Welcome back, everybody. Our next guest is Dr. Stanley Uzachuku. He is the chairman and CEO of the Stanel Group, a company that supplies corporate organizations with diesel. However, he is also known for being a man of his faith and a leading philanthropist dedicated to helping widows, physically challenged orphans, and even prison inmates within Nigeria. And without further delay, he joins us now. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. My privilege. We, we are so happy to have you, and I want to start with the faith element of, of who you are. I know that you give all glory to God. I've seen videos of you during uh, praise and worship and, and speaking your faith to people. Talk to us about that and how, how it coincides with your career and your business and, and ultimately your success. Well, um, thank you for having me. Um, genuinely and sincerely, Stano Group would have been nothing, absolutely nothing without God. And um, one of the major reasons why you see us putting everything together, because everything that we have, everything, how far we have come, God has brought us. And um, that is our starting point. And that is one of the major reasons why um, our organization is built solely on God. And um, it's a Christian organization where we make the people, we, uh, the staff, pray every morning, 7 to 8 o'clock, we're shut down prayers because everything, um, when we started up, uh, I remember when um, the Lord spoke to me about Stano Group, it was in a very clear revelation in the night when I saw shuttle trucks moving from one point to the other, uh, from uh, banks and all of that supplying diesel. And I woke up and it was a very clear revelation and uh, I knew that was what God wanted us to do. And we started trusting God for uh, money to acquire our first truck which as a then we bought our first shuttle truck at seven at about seven to eight million naira and um when we started i had a covenant with god i said lord bless me and bless this business and we will showcase your name mm -hmm. to the world it will be a business that will showcase the name of god, the lord and um the first truck we bought then we we'll name the truck instead of naming the trucks like Aduna, um, like truck one, truck two, truck three. We named the trucks with the name of names of God. The first <laughs> truck we got then was Adonai. The next truck was Elohim. The next truck was El Shaddai. So wow. it was part of showcasing uh, God's name, and that was the covenant that I had, Lord. If you bless us with this organization, we are going to use it to propagate the name of the Lord, and that is what we've done so far. What a remarkable story. That's just amazing. I know uh, you obviously success in business has been a, an extraordinary part of your story, but philanthropy is too. You are constantly giving back to the community. Tell, tell us what drives that, why that's so important, particularly in a continent in Africa where there's still so much need. Well, compassion, basically. Uh, my pastor, Dr. Paul Enenche, would always say, where where you if you're compassionate about the thing the grace flows in the line of your compassion if you're compassionate about the sick the grace for healing flows in that direction so i am very very compassionate about um uh, um the less privileged because I, I have been there i've been through a lot i can feel the pain so um, it's somewhere, it's a, a, a ministry that we are very, very compassionate about. Uh, uh, we are very passionate about. We, especially the widows ministry, the orphans and all of that. And there's a whole lot that we have done. And above reaching out to them, one major thing that we have also achieved is we use it to propagate the gospel. Like the prison outreach, uh, most of all the mattresses and all that we send out to them, we have an inscription on it written, Jesus is Lord, Jesus loves you. And we distribute Bibles as well to them. And um, by the message of God, my pastor, Dr. Paul Enenche, would always say that most people might never have the opportunity to read the Bible. Your life might be the only Bible an unbeliever might, would ever read. Oh, that's message. Um, at this moment, you're at Liberty University. There's this amazing conversation going on. Uh, America has always been alongside Africa all through this last century. But uh, China has become a big player on, uh, on the continent. Tell us what Americans need to know about what China is doing and what America can do to continue to be a good friend to Africa. Well, um, like the last uh, speaker said, you know, uh, the Chinese have taken uh, so much uh, 
they've taken advantage of the situation in Nigeria. We need not to talk about uh, population in Nigeria. There's a whole lot of potential. And uh, I think uh, that uh, America needs to really look inwards and begin to look towards our direction. Uh, I, we are not oblivious of the uh, uh, present, uh, the, um, what do you call it, um, like the present situation, especially the bad perception, sure. reputation that's created, been created by very few uh, uh, pavidious uh, brothers and sisters of ours. But that in no way, I however avert to you that that in no way represents the true colors, uh, true character of the average Nigerian. Incredible. Wow. Dr. Uzuchuku, uh, let everyone know where they can find out more about the Sano Group and also your philanthropy work. I know a lot of our audience would want to follow you. Yes, um, uh, Googling us uh, uh, www.stanoworld.com and also on Instagram, Stano World, to see all that we have done. Stano Group, it's, uh, we've, it's uh, an organization that stands on two pillars integrity and excellence mm -hmm. we believe in doing the business excellently well in with utmost integrity incredible i love that dr stanley uzachuku of the sano group once again we appreciate you joining us and we look forward to having you back on again very soon when you're back here stateside thank you very much for having me and don't go anywhere everybody remember the moggy robbie book tease that i gave you all at the top of the hour John Solomon and Mike Benz are going to be breaking that down when we come back right after these quick commercial messages. Don't go anywhere.